All right, let's spend a little time this week looking at the hidden but very, very useful electronic level on the Canon R5C. So like a lot of you out there, I have gotten a chance now to really start diving deep into the Canon R5C. <laughs> I've had a really good time with it. It's actually an incredible little camera, but man, it is very different. It's this, the hybrid aspects of it that make it so great are also something that require a little bit of a learning curve to try and unlock all the things that it can do. Now, there's one thing that I discovered on here that I think I need on almost every single shot I do, and that is a level. I'm always wanting to make sure that my shots are level or unlevel if I wanna do a Dutch shot, but an electronic level is one of those things that's so useful, and once you start using it, you'll really wanna have it literally I think on just about every single shot you ever shoot with a camera. Handheld, it lets you make sure your horizons are straight, you know you're safe, and if you're doing product and stuff, it's good just to have it there. So what I wanna do on the Canon R5C, it does have an electronic level that stays there the entire time you're shooting. A little tricky to find. I kind of considered it pretty hidden because I really had to dive deep in the menus. I wanna share it with you and hopefully it helps you when you're out there shooting. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So once you're in the Canon R5, you need to come in here and go ahead all the way over to the monitoring setup menu. Now you have lots of different things, LCD, viewfinder, brightness, anamorphics, black and white, but here's what you need to come. In the fifth layer, you will find on-screen display outputs and all those other things like that. Now what you gotta do is come down here to the first custom display. If you come to custom display, you will see a lot of choices and it actually spreads really far down. I can show you just how many things there are. A lot of great stuff you can get there on your display, but here's what you need to look at. You can see level. And when you hit this, you'll actually have a number of different options on what you can have. You can have tilt and roll, roll or tilt. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off here showing you tilt and roll just so you can see what it looks like. So when you look here at the tilt and roll, you will see that you have two levels right here on your thing. If you tilt it up and down, you will see the tilt there letting you know just how tilted or straight you are. And the rolling is very, very important too. If I bring my tilts, you can see now as I roll, you can really see just how far I am. And even in something like this, where I'm literally shooting against a white wall, you can see I can get my level and dial it in. And now that I got a through ahead, I can literally come in and you can see me just dial that electronic level in. And there I've got it pretty much perfect. Now this is really, really nice to have. Now I think for most of us out there, the tilt is not going to be as important as the roll. And what's great about this, you can come back in the menu and put it just on the roll. And as you can see, this gives me just that roll access, which lets me know if I'm ever tilted or not tilted, just a great level display. The other thing that I think is really, really awesome about this, especially coming from the Canon R5, is while the Canon R5 did have an electronic level inside it, if I plugged an HDMI in it, I could not access it. The HDMI essentially disabled my electronic viewfinder. I can never get it to work in the viewfinder or on my monitor if I had it. The great thing here is you can plug in an HDMI, and as you can see, I have an HDMI in, and I still have access to that electronic level in my camera. So, small little trick, but it's one of those things I saw it, was really excited about. I guarantee you, if you're not using an electronic level when you're shooting, go ahead, set it up, because it's one of those things that you'll end up using on almost every single time you pick up the camera. Anyway, guys, that's all I have to say about this. Hope that was helpful. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. Go ahead and leave me any comments down below. Yeah, go out there, keep on shooting, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you soon.